into the recesses of his ocular cavity. Deep eyes, deep Like a raccoon. Like the, when they sit back, hmm. his eyes are doing that. And no eyelids. So they're into his skull, yeah. no eyelids. What about his nose? No nose. No nose. No, no. No, no. Why, would he, why would he have a nose? Oh, he was smiling. The man who loved you was smiling. But he didn't have lips. So it was kind of like a perpetual yeah. smile of sorts. It's kind of like, yeah, yeah like that. It kind of exactly. Is. Yeah. Okay. No lips, why not? Why would he have those? Just the man who loved you. Wow! <laughs> you just did that just now? This is amazing! You know what would be fun? See him with skin. The police station paid off. Alistair Crump. Very bad man. Very bad. Son of cutthroat real estate tycoon Addison Crump. A cruel father who kicked Alistair out of the house when he was just a boy after claiming Alistair cried too much at his mother's funeral, said he needed to make him a tougher man. His father's high society turned his back on the boy, and with no friends and no other family, Alistair disappeared. Years later, following his father's mysterious death, Alistair returned, a wealthy tycoon who became famous for throwing lavish parties with the very people who betrayed him. Only many of those guests never made their way out. Whispers grew that Alistair was embroiled in a form of dark magic that required blood sacrifice to maintain his wealth and power. No one ever found the bodies, but after years of abuse, his staff finally rose up against him and beheaded Trump. Just before the axe fell, Alistair vowed revenge on all from beyond the grave. Crump, murderer, right? Now, a murderer in death. Fortunately for us, his own.